Can you tell us what you're looking forward to about the first playoff uh, experience here for you? <laughs> I mean, you know, just going out there, be able to um, showcase, you know, all the hard work that I put in and that this team put in as well. You know, all those um, days of practice, you know, the ups and downs, the wins and losses, is just be able to showcase that, you know, that we belong here. So. How much of a, a taste is there in your mouth from the last game against these guys? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, a lot of memories for sure. You know, uh, I got a good memory, so I remember all the, the ups and the downs and I'm trying to focus on more of the downs right now to, you know, critique myself and, you know, see what I could do better to, you know, help the team win this next time. We've been hearing about the term house money outside this locker room, that you guys maybe can be loose because there weren't that many expectations. But what's the feeling like in this locker room now that you're in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, Dayball does a good job of just keeping us loose and just ready every week. You know, he doesn't try to put any more on it than what it is. You know, every week we go in with a 1-0 and mentality. It's just, you know, it's the next game, and yeah, we're in the playoffs. And the outside saying it's, you know, the most important and this and this. And, we you know, we're just... You know, another game of just trying to go 1-0 and, and um, you know, treat it like every other week and just going out there and giving our best to win. But emotionally, can you do that? Like something yeah, that yeah. feels yeah. different already this week, do yeah. not? There's, gonna, there's definitely going to be more intensity and more emotions to it. And But, you know, you want that. And I think that stuff's going to, you know, help the team. It's going to help push us to practice harder and it's going to help push us to execute better as well. You know, it's just keeping those emotions intact to where, you know, it doesn't cause us, you know, do stupid stuff on the field or, you know, uh, get out of hand and do all that types of stuff like that so See, is, Je is Justin Jefferson a guy you watch when, when you're not playing I mean, is he a guy you yeah. model yourself after and yeah. admire from afar um you know I would say I, I watch all the receivers you know around the league um you know he's definitely one of them you know obviously with the stats and you know numbers that he puts up but you know I like to study and craft you know a whole lot of receivers you know we did it in Buffalo we do it here you know we watch old guys new guys I mean from the Devonte Adams to Justin Jefferson to Diggs to whoever you know so you know there's there's definitely always a lot of stuff that you could pick up for receivers across the league. For you personally, what's it mean to have such a big role on this team in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean uh, it's a blessing. I was just talking about that man about how you know just a couple months ago you know I was sitting you know I, I was on the active roster and then got cut and then you know that day I was just sitting there you know kind of wondering where my future was going to be at you know and you know I got the call here took advantage of the opportunities um Dave on the team took me in trusted me and you know helped me catch up to speed and you know now I'm playing in you know a playoff game so you know it's just uh I feel blessed and just like humbled to be here and just um you know excited just to showcase what I got what you think about the great news about Demar today oh yeah released from the Buffalo Hospital headed home yeah I love that man uh, I, I actually talked to him like two days ago and uh you know we were talking on the phone a little bit and stuff so um it was just good to speak with him again, you know, just get that conversation back flowing. And, you know, glad to see that, you know, he got released and everything from, you know, the hospital. So, you know, that he's able to hopefully, you know, go hang out with some teammates and family and stuff. So, I mean, that's great for him, man. I'm ex super excited. Is it amazing how far he's come in just nine days? Yeah, from where, yeah. Where he was until now he's home already. Yeah. I mean, it's just the, the steps that he took just in those days and then just how much the world came together, too, you know, and just media, teammates, players from all different sports, you know, everyone just coming together just to pray and wish the best for him, man. And, you know, I'm, that stuff's powerful. And, you know, I, I think it definitely played a part. So.